What is key here is that corticosteroids in an appropriate setting have benefits, both in terms of anti-tumor effects, palliation of symptoms, and they have been used as an active comparator in phase three trials, both in pre- and post-chemotherapy treated patients. However, a patient whose cancer is progressing on steroids is different. And this was the objective of the study, to see if there was in fact a difference in outcome based on corticosteroid use. We looked at the group who were receiving corticosteroids, and not surprisingly, they had more advanced disease and were sicker. We then conducted what is called a multivariate analysis, trying to correct for those factors which we would say would be uh, logically associated with inferior outcomes, such as a higher PSA, a higher LDH value, more bone metastasis, and more pain. However, even when we corrected with these fact for these factors, we found that corticosteroid use remained an, a factor associated with an inferior survival and enzalutamide uh, also provided benefit. So the key here is the context. A patient who has not seen corticosteroids can receive them as a therapy, but a patient whose tumor is progressing on steroid may be different. And in fact, there is a body of evidence now being generated suggesting that in the in particular settings, which we have not fully identified clinically, uh, corticosteroids may contribute to tumor growth.